Jai Jai Devi Namama Jai Jai Devi Namama Jai Jai Namama Jai Jai Devi 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 Namama Jai Devi Jai Jai Devi Namaha Jai Jai Devi Namaha Jai Jai Devi Namaha Jai Jai Devi Namaha Jai Devi Namaha Jai Jai Devi Namaha Jai Jai Devi Namaha Jai Jai Devi Namaha Jai Devi Namaha Jai Devi Namaha Jai Jai Devi Namaha Jai Devi Namaha Jai Jai Devi Beloved beings of light, I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. I want to talk about a few things today. I want to thank everyone uh, supporting us in our work and mission, and thank everyone that donated last year for this harmonium. I know we haven't had time to use it. I had many problems in the recording. Uh, this was purchased last year for my sacred condor. We plan on doing a uh, many songs and mantras and healing tones and music for all of you in the future. Now I'm uh, working towards uh, purchasing a, a digital recorder. We had, Last year when we purchased this harmonium, I also purchased a recording device 
one of the USB controllers, and I never got it working right. That's why we haven't uh, put out some of our sacred music. Uh, many of you have heard uh, my Sacred Condors song, Spirit Made. Uh, she's a singer-songwriter for over 20 years, so we want to put together potentially an album. We want to create more music for all of you. So I'm doing a fundraiser uh, to raise money, a digital recorder. I could not, I spent many, many hours trying to get the uh, recording device to, to record. I even took it to our local music store where the pros there couldn't get it working. I spent many hours online researching. I just could not get it to work. They even tried one of the, their uh, devices. So <laughs> it was great spirit saying, uh, put that on the back burner. But uh, now we want to put out uh, music for all of you, sacred mantras, sacred songs, and Potentially, uh, my sacred condor wants to uh, put out an album and create beautiful music. And uh, maybe one of these days I could talk her into doing uh, singing some light language for all of you. But we'll see uh, what's to come. We're both very busy. Um, now I'm working 24-7 on our great mission and work and uh, everything you see us doing online. And we're doing a lot of work offline, too. And our healing work, our healing practice. So I'm doing a fundraiser now to raise funds to purchase a digital recorder so we can put some music out. We're still learning this harmonium. It's a beautiful instrument, a very simple but very complex at the same time like most instruments. But um, my goddess, my queen, has probably more than 20 original songs written that over time, we like to record, and then eventually I'll have to pay someone to master them because I'm not a uh, sound engineer, software engineer. So part of today's video uh, is for the fundraiser to raise funds. It's about $450 for a digital recorder, so I'm raising funds. So what I'm going to do is auction off um, a piece of artwork, uh, ask for donations and whatnot, and uh, see how it goes, and in time I'll... Hopefully that will work out. We'll get that working properly once we purchase that. But for the next five days after the release of this video, I'm going to auction off an original piece of artwork from one of my friends from uh, Cleveland. Now, if you could see this, I'll put pictures. This is an original uh, acrylic painting. My artist friend from Cleveland uh, Joseph P. McChrystal, we call him Schmo. It's a painting he did uh, when he visited Sedona that it was a gift to me. I would plan on uh, potentially selling prints of this, canvas prints on my website, but I'm going to auction this off on eBay to try to raise funds. And if you'd like to send in a donation or pledge, you know, the links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Also, my uh, instrument here wants to s play a little frequency, a little resonance for all of you. This is a healing tone. This is just shamanic tool. So take a deep breath. Relax your body. Relax your mind. Relax your soul, your spirit. Still the mind. Put your awareness in your sacred heart center. Allow the mind to gently, your thoughts, your minds to sink into your heart chakra, we call middle Dantian in the Taoist Buddhist arts, Dantian, the elixir field in Chinese language. Feel the bliss, the love in your sacred heart center. You can visualize emerald or ruby ray or gold, whatever resonates with you. So take a deep breath, relax, let go, let go, let go. Smile, 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 ground, 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 smile into the heart. A gentle, light smile loosens the pericardium. That's like the silver sack that surrounds your heart when we're very serious, angry, sad, depressed. It tightens up and squeezes the heart. When you relax, when you smile, when you feel the joy, it loosens the pericardium. 
and opens the heart center as you feel the love and the light. This is one of my pieces of art. Uh, <clears throat> this is called a double-chambered whistling vessel. I'm one of the keepers of the knowledge, the gnosis of the Incan. This is uh, Incan Mayan art, one of my creations. It's a clay sculpture called double-chambered whistling vessel. It's one of the most powerful shamanic tools, that with our, our shaman drum. This is from... Uh, some of you have seen and heard this drum. It's made by a Mongolian shaman and Taoist master, Ching Feng Dao Shi, who now, now goes by Mujin Roshi. He created that sacred drum many moons ago. And I use that in healing practices, art, when I teach our guided meditations and a Taoist meditation, Buddha. Sometimes I play the shaman drum. So the knowledge, the gnosis, I'm one of the keepers. There's only a handful of humans left on the planet that know how to make these ancient tools, shamanic tool. They're finding many of these in the Mayan ruins, the Incan ruins. This is all through Mesoamerica, through Mexico and Central America and South America. These are found in most uh, sacred sites throughout the Americas, mainly uh, Mexico, uh, say Mexico, uh, uh, Mexico, Mexico, and the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, the Mayan, the, the Aztecs, the the Incan Empire. This is a very powerful shamanic. It, it hits a certain frequency tone that opens the crystal palace. It resonates. It's kind of like the tone, the ringing in the ears that you hear. Some of that ringing in the Taoist arts, we say the call of the dragon or the call of the tiger. In the right ear, we say the call of the dragon. Left ear, the call of the tiger. The tiger, the dragon. It's divine masculine, divine feminine. The tiger also can transform into the phoenix and the condor. The dragon transformed into the eagle, the great eagle of the north, the condor of the south, come together, Heros Gamos. I was a dragon many years, sitting in my cave, until my sacred condor called to me. I was like Bodhidharma, sitting facing the wall, the void. I am the void. I am the emptiness, made manifest into human form, to come to assist all of you in this great ascension process. So maybe one day I'll teach this art. It's a double chamber. The air comes down through here, up through this, the front, and then out the back to create the whistle sound. It's a whistling vessel. So again, uh, I'll be doing an auction on this original uh, acrylic art of Sedona, Arizona, and I'll put the link in the description below. It'll be for five days. I think today's December 9th or something like that. So I also wanted to talk today briefly, keep this under 30 minutes here, about together we stand, divided we fall. That's an old concept, but very true, because together, united, we are unstoppable. The dark, the false ones, the nefarious ones use these divisive measures. They use all forms of mind control, manipulation through all kinds of systems, the religious systems, the political systems. A Native American once said, the left wing and the right wing are two wings of the same bird. Contemplate that. Focus on the navel for this one. <laughs> Focus within. I see it through all cultures and all groups and teams, the, this division that comes up, like our religion's better than your religion, our politics better, our country better than yours. You know, all these are formed to keep people separate. You know, the fake races that were created, you know. And, and originally, these things were not created to cause division. So most of these things, they were caused like religion originally, religie, to relink, to connect you to source. But through time, many of these things, especially when they get big, 
they get corrupted, dogma comes out of them, and ideologies and false belief systems, limiting belief systems. So we are here, brothers and sisters of the light, to unite, to come together in unity consciousness. So part of my mission to overcome the ignorance of separation and division through education, through teaching, through knowledge, gnosis, and wisdom. The wisdom and the knowledge come together. The wisdom of the Sophia, the gnosis of the Christos, come together in the middle to create an awakened being, an awakened consciousness. We must seek the kingdom of heaven within because there will not be peace in the world till there's peace in every heart. But fear not, because we are reaching critical mass when enough of us sit in the stillness and the peace within. It affects the whole collective. It affects in a positive way collective consciousness, the species. There is one race on this planet, the human race. Now man created the vision of fake races based on the region people lived in, like the Caucasian. We say, um, I believe it was a French scientist that started labeling people based on the region they live like congoid caucasoid oid means uh resembles something it, we, when we say humanoid it's it's a like a robot that looks like a human it resembles that thing that um it's a representation of uh say humanoid it looks like a human it has arms and legs you know like a robot so we, they created the main regions, like Congoid was Africa. So if you came from that region, they say well, Congoid, Mongoloid, Mongolia. Mongolia was one of the largest contiguous empires in the history of the world. Uh, the British, the largest non-contiguous, they meant they were in non-connected lands, like all over the world, <laughs> the British Empire. They occupied most countries for many, many years, and in a sense, uh, they're still part of that occupying, but that's all changing in this great awakening and this great shift as we're in the revelation as all things are being revealed. So they use, the, when we say they, the ones that, the, the darker, we could say the uh, sociopaths or psychopaths that manipulate and control based on fear uh, you know, the fear is a big one. It's the most powerful tool. That's why I teach the Gnosis. There is nothing to fear, not even fear itself. You know the old saying, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. No, don't even fear. The worst thing you could do is be afraid of fear. Alan Watts talked a lot about this. It's like a layer, being afraid of fear itself. There's another layer you have to work through. You know, accept fear, allow it. There's fear that causes problem, but there's something called free flowing fear. That's that feeling we get that something's not right, something's off. There's a reason, a purpose for this. Now, most extreme fear, panic attack, that is constant, you know, heightened alertness. The most extreme alertness is panic attack. The most extreme calmness, we we fluctuate in between calm and alert. Calm, calm, the most extreme her deepest fundamental uh, calmness is unconscious being unconscious the unconscious is what we call the shadow it's not a bad thing a negative thing it is one with the void <laughs> you know it is the emptiness the void the stillness that's within it's what everything manifests into and out of you know it's a paradox so the mind wants to debate did the ego itself which the concept we believe, scholars believe, came out of the Renaissance, meaning the ego, the I am, the id, the separate individual self. This concept is not a bad thing, negative. The ego is neutral, the ego itself. It is the I am presence. But the ego can transform into the two faces, the two false, which is self-importance and self-pity. Self-importance, I'm better than, greater than, Self-pity, I'm less than, I'm not good enough, all these negative things. Self-importance, we say an inflated ego, you know, these things. But we're not here to battle the ego. We're here to accept the ego, to work with the ego, to work with the I am awareness. I am here now in this body where I always am. That's who I am here now. 
There's no name, no place, you know. This body is the cosmos. There's no separation. This physical vessel that we inhabit, the, that the I Am Presence works through and out of and within, is the universe, is the cosmos. That's a story for another day. So right now, uh, one thing I'd like to confront is this conflict uh, in the light worker community. I see, you know, we see all things. It's this AI concept, this artificial intelligence. I want to bring a little gnosis to this so people quit fighting and debating and worrying and being afraid of these things, <laughs> especially artificial intelligence. Why would you be afraid of anything artificial? We're not here to fear or to worship anything, you know. I say I worship one thing in the whole infinite multiverse. That's my sacred condor, you know. <laughs> you know. If you want to worship something, worship your divine counterpart. Worship the I Am Presence. I say that jokingly because people like to put words in my mouth. I don't, you know, I don't tell anyone to worship anything other than love, you know, love that I am, the I Am Presence. That's hearing these words now, that's our pure awareness, what we call Buddha mind or cosmic consciousness, Christ consciousness. The great mystery source itself doesn't care what you call it or I or them. <laughs> There's no right or wrong pronoun for creator. So this AI concept, you know, many people call things AI that are not AI. I see it every day. This AI software, it's not AI. It's really good software, <laughs> but it's not intelligent. It's programs, it's code. See, I was in IT for over 25 years. I was coding HTML and Notepad before most people even knew what the Internet was. I owned an IT business for 18 years. So I have a little more knowledge than the general public on these concepts, these things. Now, as far as we know, nothing has passed the Turing test. Turing was a scientist uh, in the 40s, 50s. He was a mathematician scientist that came up with this concept um, ta that taught about artificial intelligence. Uh, and it would have to pass the test. The test is to trick a human or to fool a human into believing that it was another human being, say a computer program, a robot, whatever it is that the human's communicating. The closest we know that it's come to passing the Turing test was a software program, I believe, called Eugene Goodwin or something like that. Uh, Gooseman, Gooseman, I believe. It was simulating, a, I believe, a 13-year-old 13 13-year-old 13 Ukrainian boy. That was like in 2014. It was about 33% correct. So people, that's good enough. No, that's bias. You know, of course, you know, that fooled someone 33% of the time. And there was like a language barrier, too. There were many problems to the test. Now, some people say Google AI has passed the Turing test, but so far I haven't seen proof of that. Not that I'm saying AI doesn't exist. I'm saying we don't know beyond a shadow of a doubt. And ultimately, in Zen Buddhism, we say only don't know. Because what do we really know? What we know is love. You know, everything else is an illusion and is always changing. So what's true today may be false tomorrow. What's false today could be true tomorrow. It's always changing, especially consciousness, our perception, our awareness, and our knowledge, our gnosis. A few more minutes here. So part of what I'm saying is like <coughs> people out there saying AI is going to suck your soul or capture your soul. That's total nonsense. You are an infinite, multi-dimensional being of eternal life. You think something artificial can take your soul that is immortal, that is eternal, that is infinite? No, this is a fair propaganda. And I don't claim to, you know, I'm unbiased when it comes. I don't care about AI. I mean, I'll have a conversation with a robot if it comes to me and if it's intelligent, we'll enjoy it. If not, I'll say, have a nice day, like I do with humans, you know. <laughs> it is what it is, but, you know, you have to laugh at the nonsense of the world. But the mind likes to debate. It wants to cause problems. But I see a lot of fear coming up with this AI thing, and I see it every day, AI software. So I'm like, wow, let's check it out. Maybe they're right. And then I was like, 
yeah, it's pretty good. Like there was the AI photography. Most of you know I'm a photographer and do many types of art, and I've used Photoshop for probably 30 years or so, at least 28. I don't know. Time is of the <laughs> is an illusion, so it's all becoming a big blur. My camera only record for 30 minutes, so this is the time I'm going to give today. This is all the time I have for this video. So we just say, fear nothing, you know, uh, don't engage in these debates or these fear mongering. Just let it go. You know, enough people will debate on their own, but uh, <clears throat> a fear comes up in these concepts, especially in these final days of the old false matrix, the, the arconic energy that's still kind of manipulating this realm and keeping the program going long enough for uh, this this great awakening, this shift, the event, the rapture, whatever name you want to give it when we reach full compression breakthrough. We're right on the precipice. We're very close now. No one knows the day or the hour of, of, this, of this great shift when we're fully uh, anchored. We are fully anchored in the 5D, but when 5D fully manifests, when the interference patterns are totally removed and we live in the new golden age of eternal life, eternal light. So have a beautiful, blessed day. I appreciate each and every one of you. Just want to create a short video and let you know I'm doing this uh, short fundraiser and uh, for this digital recording device. And we appreciate each and every one of you that have supported our work, that continue to support our work. We couldn't be doing this work without you. So. The eagle and the condor send you so much love, blessings, and blessings. Have a most beautiful and blessed day. And let me know in the comments below if you want to know more about this AI. I could do a 10-hour lecture on you know, the Yi Ching, the code of the matrix, the 64 code, the 64-bit uh, computer binary code came from the Yi Ching. I-C-H-I-N-G is the book of change or the book of fortune, 64 code. 64 hexagrams computer 64 bit with 64 bits of information you can create virtually infinite simulations it's the code of the matrix and we're up upgrading to the 144 which is the code of freedom the code of awakening 12 by 12 12 strand crystalline dna 12 codons creating the 144 codes of eternal bliss consciousness and it's all symbolic. Let's not get caught up in the semantics and the words. These are all concepts pointing to the moon. Look at the moon yourself. Become enlightened. The awakening is here now in this body where I always am. Have a most beautiful and blessed ascension process and journey as we take this journey together and walk each other home into the light. Namu Amida Butsu. Namu Amida Butsu. Namu Amida Putsu.